This video, I'm gonna show you the guaranteed spots you need to know to get your Pearls of the Sea collectibles. So since Madame Bazaar has come to life in Red Dead Online, we've been trying to figure out how all this collecting stuff works, how the loot rotates, where it's at, and I think we finally have maybe started to figure it out. According to GTA series videos over on YouTube, it's where I saw this video, they've narrowed down that the loot changes spots every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And I actually tested that today with a flower. I went back to that flower right after 5 p.m. and it magically was not there and it disappeared. Using that, they've found all nine spots, groups of three, that the Pearls of the Sea loot can be found on the map. So it looks like there's three different groups of loot on the map. Every day those spots change between group A, B, and C. Today when I'm recording this video, we were on group C. Later on in the stream, it switched to group A. When you're watching this video, first thing this morning when it launches, should be on group A. Tonight at 5 p.m. on Saturday, we should switch to group B. Knowing that, we can look at all these spots and know exactly where to look for the Pearls of the Sea loot. If we take a look at the map, I have all nine spots marked on the map where all of the Pearls of the Sea loot can be found. These nine spots are grouped into three groups, A, B, and C. Today, when I found them all, all of these were right here around Annisburg in group C. At 5 p.m. Pacific Time, on Friday, all these loot spots changed to these three spots here, called Group A. These are part of the Group A loot spots. I actually sold two sets of Pearl of the Sea loot just in one day by using this method of the 5 p.m. switchover. The third set we'll call Group B. Yeah, that sounds good is down here all around road. At 5 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday, the day this video goes live, these three spots should spawn in and you can get your Pearls of the Sea loot around roads and sell them to Madame Nazar at the post office probably within about 10, 15 minutes. So let's jump in and look at each one of these spots so you know exactly what you're looking for on the map. Starting with the first loot spot found near Van Horn. This is part of the Group C loot that we actually found today. It's right near Van Horn at the Serpent of the Eye. If you have guys have not been to that location, it might be kind of new to you. But if you know that location, you're definitely going to know what we're looking for. The Serpent the serpent Eye up here on the hill is a pretty crazy snake thing in the ground. And there's an eye right here. And if you go up to this right now and look in this, well, not right now when you're watching this video, possibly, you understand. You can grab one of the Pearl of the Sea collectibles. We'll take a look at the map right now. We're right just west of Van Horn on top of this hill where the snake serpent is in the ground, right in the eye. Definitely come check it out. The next lootable, which is also part of the C group, is up here above Brandyvine Drop in the Roanoke Bridge. Back behind the big waterfall, you'll find yourself a nice little chest that has Pearl of the Sea collectible in it. Here we are right here, finding that chest, getting that collectible to fulfill our set. If we take a look at the map on that location, we're right here behind the big waterfall, right on the edge of the map. Super easy to get to. Second spot of Group C. The third spot of Group C is over at O'Cray's Run, out on the island in the middle of the lake. As you can see here, it's a nice little chest. Actually, all of the loot spots in Group C you don't need any tools at all to find. So anybody could actually come find these on a Group C day. This one's super easy to find on the map up here in the Cumberland Forest at Elk Craze Run, right on the middle of the island. Now we're moving over to Group A, which should be live right now if you're watching this video when it drops. We're over in Cumberland Forest right now. If this is a Group A day, there'll be a chest right here for you to grab, and you can definitely loot it up without using any tools at all. We'll take a look at the map real quick and I'll show you right where this is at. So we're up here right above the sea in the U in Cumberland Forest, up above Valentine, definitely easy to get to. 
The next loot spot for this Group A group, Group A group, is over at Twin Stack Pass. Definitely hit around the north side of the rock. You can climb back here. This one you will need a metal detector to use to find. Metal detector to find. Yeah, that sounds right. Right here on this ledge will be a metal detector dig site. You can get yourself one of the Pearl of the Seed collectibles at this spot here. Showing on the map, we're stating we're right at Twin Stacks Pass, just to the north side of it. Make sure you climb across from the north. The last spot in the Group A settings, I know it's kind of dark, kind of hard to see. We are at the chimney above Strawberry. Just search inside this chimney and get yourself that loot. Right here on the map, as you can see, we're right above Strawberry. Definitely use this mark shown on the map. Chimney right there, loot inside, easy find. The next three are going to are going to be what we call Group B. These should be live at 5 p.m. on Saturday, the day this video goes live. So at 5 p.m. you can go loot these. The first spot here is a metal detector find. It's below Braithwaite's Manor. You will need a metal detector to get this spot. Also in this group is also another metal detector spot over at Ennis Field, north of Rhodes, right by the tree right here. Again, right above Rhodes, zoom in real quick so you guys can see Ennis Field. Make sure you mark this, get this on a Group B day. So the last spot we're looking at is right now at this house here. It is in the bayou, pretty easy to find. If you run inside here, should be able to go up to this good old fireplace here and down inside should be eludable on a B-scheduled day. I'll show you where we are on the map, over in the bayou, just below the O in Bayou. Nice little house to go loot on a B group day. So again, all the loot on the map is on, it looks like three different groups that spawn every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time and it switches to the next group or set. Today, Saturday morning, when this video goes live, the set you wanna go search are these three here. Cumberland Forest, Twin Stacks Pass, and the chimney over above Strawberry. If you're watching that after this time, starting at 5 p.m. on Saturday Pacific time, these three should be the three that you need to go loot. Ernest Field, the house over in the bayou, and down below Braithwaite Manor. And then again, 5 p.m. on Sunday, you should be able to go back and loot these three that we looted on Friday, up above Brandyvine Drop at the waterfall, over at Ocray's Run and down at the Serpent Eye by Van Horn. And again, these three in this group do not need any tools at all to find. So we're starting to figure out the loot spawn times. We have figured out that it's 5 p.m. when everything switches. That's specific time. You have to use a uh, Google or something to figure out what time it is for you. So remember that with everything we spoke with today. But Everything is static in those locations on a three-day rotation. So at 5 p.m. Pacific time, everything switches over again. Remember, you can go search around Valentine at those spots right now when this video drops. Down in Rhodes, tonight on Saturday at 5 p.m., they'll switch to the Rhodes areas. And then Sunday at 5 p.m., they should switch to the ones up north. Hey, guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. And let me know down in the comments how you like my new hat. Got it from Hollywood. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, 